DIY Guide Resetting Your Idle Air Control Valve Hello there, DIY enthusiasts. Today, we're going to tackle an important yet often overlooked component of your vehicle, the Idle Air Control IAC, valve. Specifically, we'll be discussing whether you can reset the IAC valve yourself or if you need professional assistance. The answer is yes, you can reset it yourself, provided you're comfortable with basic car maintenance tasks. Let's get started. What is an idle air control valve? Before we delve into the process, it's crucial to understand what an idle air control valve is. The IAC valve controls the amount of air flowing into your engine when it's idling. When this component malfunctions, your car may start to idle too fast or too slow, or it may stall out altogether. When should you reset your IAC valve? You should consider resetting your IAC valve when you're experiencing problems like erratic idling, engine stalling, or if your check engine light is on and a diagnostic tool indicates an issue with the IAC system. It's an inexpensive first step to rule out the IAC valve as the source of the problem. How can you reset your IAC valve? Here's the step-by-step -step process on how you can reset your idle air control valve. 1. Disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. This will reset your car's computer. 2. Locate the IAC valve. This is typically attached to the throttle body of your car. Check your vehicle's manual if you're unsure where to find it. 3. Disconnect the IAC valve. Unplug the electrical connector to the IAC valve. 4. Clean the IAC valve. Use a throttle body cleaner to clean the valve and its housing. 5. Reconnect everything. Plug the electrical connector back into the IAC valve and reconnect your battery. What if resetting doesn't work? If resetting and cleaning your IAC valve doesn't fix the issue, it may be time to replace the IAC valve or seek professional help. Remember, while you can perform many maintenance tasks yourself, some problems may require a trained mechanic's expertise. And there you have it. You now know when and how to reset your idle air control valve. We hope this guide empowers you to tackle this task yourself, saving you a trip to the mechanic. However, always remember to exercise caution when working on your vehicle and consult a professional if you're unsure. Drive safe and happy DIYing!